Oh, please, I've got to find him. Who? The man who was running ahead of me. Oh, I didn't see anyone. I did. Well, do you see him now? No, not now. Not anymore. Oh, that's better, then. Oh, please, I've got to find him. Well, who is this man? My father. Well, can't you go home and wait for him? No, he hasn't been home in six years. Well, has he been missing? No. Ill? No. Well, what then, miss? He's dead. we better go to the station, miss. I'd like to see Mr. Kaufman, please. Your name? McGill. 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 I'm sorry, Mr. McGill. I don't have you down for an appointment with Mr. Coughlin. He'll see me. Perhaps our Mr. Williams could help you. Press the red button once. Wait a second. Press it again. And tell Coughlin McGill is here. Oh, Mr. Williams, this gentleman is almost demanding to see Mr. Coughlin. It's all right. Hello, McGill. Hello, Williams. Been a long time. My office is over here now. Which makes you number three man, American intelligence. Yeah, your old job. You look fine. Mm-hmm. I heard about a few of your cases. That uh, piece of business in Venice, that was real good work. OK, Williams, you've done your job. Coughlin sent you to greet me. I'm greeted. Now, I'm going to see him. You were a good agent, Miguel. You always had a talent for walking through doors. Well, I never expected to walk in here again. Ancient history. Well, this is more recent. Yeah? Rachel Tyson says she saw Harry. In London, alive. Yeah, I read the story. Well, she should know her own father. Yeah, she should. Have you found him? Haven't looked. Haven't looked? We know where he is. You can visit the grave, if you like. The body you buried had been floating in the Mediterranean for days. You could have been mistaken. No chance. But if Harry's alive, he can clear me. Nobody can clear you, McGill. Not ever. Harry's dead. Lafab's still in Moscow working mathematical marvels for the opposition. I could have stopped Lafab. Agreed. Harry ordered me to let him defect. So you say. A direct order. A direct order from a dead man to let one of the world's outstanding scientists defect. Harry is alive. She saw him. My Aunt Nellie saw St. Paul. Call Rachel Lynn. Talk to her. Investigate. Do something. Your case is closed. Not to me. Not anymore. 
Closed. Accepted. I have for six years. Except for a picture of Harry I kept locked in my suitcase. But today, Harry was seen outside my suitcase, Coughlin. You know, McGill, we figured you'd accepted the inevitable. We thought you'd adjusted. We know what you've been doing. Wandering around Europe, taking cases, bounty hunting, operating as a private detective without a license for money. We've known all this, but we've left you alone. Now, supposing you leave us alone. No, sir. If you don't question Rachel, if you don't move heaven and earth to find Harry Tyson, I will. I swear to you, I will. Williams? Yes, sir. Bring her in. It'll be okay. Rachel? You two know each other, of course. Uh, would you like to sit down, Rachel? Why all the drama, Coughlin? Why didn't you call her in ten minutes ago? Because I told him I didn't want to see you or talk to you unless it was absolutely necessary. Well, it's necessary. I'm sorry, Rachel, but I'm afraid you'll have to tell him precisely what you told me. Is that true? Yes. I thought I saw Dad this afternoon. Thought? I was tired, depressed. When I thought I saw Dad, I went wild. I ran down the street, dropped my groceries, finally ran into a policeman. He took me to the station. There were reporters there, and they made a big fuss. You saw him? No. By the time the newspapers hit the street, I knew I'd been mistaken. I, I'd just seen a man with a beard, that's all. A man with a beard and Harry's face? Well, maybe a resemblance. Maybe. But the officer didn't see anybody. Maybe I imagined it all. Perhaps I wanted Dad to come back so badly that I just made it happen. I behaved like an hysteric. I shouldn't have gone to the police. I should have gone to a psychiatrist. You're absolutely positive that that wasn't Harry? Positive. I've notified the newspapers and the police that I was being foolish. I've told Mr. Coughlin, and now you. The perfect end to a perfect day. Another ghost. I'm very much alive. Not to me. May I go now? Of course. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel, I have to see you again. Not ever. It's important. I want protection from this man. I don't want him near me. I don't want him bothering me. Can you promise me that? Certainly. Thank you. You see how it is? Why don't you put Harry back in your suitcase and get on with your life and leave Rachel alone? She's a big girl now. Look, McGill, LaFob's defection was a major scandal. We don't want it all stirred up again. We want to keep things quiet. And we're prepared to go to considerable lengths to keep them that way. Considerable lengths, you understand? Goodbye, McGill. After 11 uh, midnight. Naturally. No pets, no late parties, no wildness, no drinking. Oh, ma'am. I hope you'll be happy here. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, I'll leave you then. Thanks.
she left her place there at 8.35 a.m. I saw her go. I merely wanted to be complete, sir. Please do. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, then she walked directly to her place of employment, the House on the Hill Nursery School, arriving and entering at 8.51 a.m. She didn't move from that building, sir, until the conclusion of classes at 2 p.m. Um, yeah, that is, uh, except for the half-hour recess during which she played in the school garden with the children. She undoubtedly had her lunch at the school. Have a beer. Oh, not while I'm reporting, please, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right, sir. Uh, following school, she walked directly back to her apartment, arriving there at 2.17 p.m., and uh, she's still there. Conclusion? Well, sir, your uh, fiancé's lover... He didn't contact her during that period. Unless he telephoned her. Oh, no, sir, no. The school do not transfer calls to their employees during school hours. I, um, I inquired. Yeah, that's very good, Pfeiffer. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, sir, well, I'll, uh, I'll have that beer now, sir, if uh, you don't mind. Uh, and um, I wonder if... Uh, do you think... Uh, thank you very much, sir. Sure. <laughs> one, uh, one other detail, sir. If you was to look through that window... You'd see another gentleman standing across that street. Mm hmm. Yep. He was also loitering round the school this morning, sir. Really? Hmm. Uh, Miss Tyson, your fiance. She leads a very complex life, doesn't she, sir? Hmm. I mean, only yesterday she told the newspapers that um, she'd seen her dead father. And today, according to those same newspapers, she denies the whole thing. She has problems. Um, no offence, Mr. McGill, sir, but um, I don't think she is your fiancé. I think you've retained me for more devious reasons than uh, locating a lover. Isn't that so? Hmm? Good, not a question of scruples. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind working for a man who's, um, well, what shall we say? Helped a scientist to defect. Hmm? In this day and age, in this world, alliances change so frequently that what's uh, treasonable today turns out to be heroic tomorrow. Hmm? <laughs> it's just that I make a comfortable living, I enjoy my family, and I want to stay alive. Well, I'm counting on that, Pfeiffer. Oh, good, sir. Well, let's understand, shall we? You've hired me to follow that girl. Nothing more. Hmm? Nothing more. What happened? I'd call it the changing of the guard. Now, you stay with the girl, Pfeiffer. outside on the platform. I'm so happy. Are you going to be long, miss? Uh, no, I'm just finishing. Thank you. <laughs> AXE 917 something or other. Does that ring a bell? should leave her home to make a call she could just as well make in the privacy of her own room. I guess so. Yeah, I'd say she was worried her line was being tampered with. See, you haven't been tampering with it, have you? Unfortunately, no. Then who has? Her dead father, 
but no. Your erstwhile colleagues of the American intelligence, hmm? the Soviets? Listen, hmm? can you get me a list of all the telephones and the locations of the numbers that begin with AXE 917? The locations? Oh, phew. Well, I mean, there could be ten such numbers. It'll take a little time. Well, that's just what we have, friend. Very little time. Hmm. You get the addresses and I'll watch her tonight. Right. Hey, buddy. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. Listen, I've got a problem. Listen, I left my watch with it. And you don't ever want to leave it. You do have a watch, don't you? What time is it? Harry's not coming, Rachel. He can't make it. I don't know what you're talking about. The changing trains at Kensington wasn't bad, but you didn't fool me, and you didn't fool the Russian. What Russian? The one who's been following you. Nonsense. Well, that's why your father isn't here. Because he saw me, and he saw the Russian, and he split. Do you think I've been waiting here for Dad? Yes, ma'am. I'm waiting for a date. Well, let's wait for him together. I was just about to go home. He must have been detained. I'll take you home. Stay away from me. I can't, my darling. Because sooner or later, you're going to lead me to Harry. I could have forgiven you anything. Anything in the world except what you did. Well, you didn't even bother to ask. You just slammed the door. You called my father a traitor. No, I didn't. You said he ordered you to let the Farb defect. You blamed it on him when he didn't have a chance to explain or defend himself or call you a liar because he was dead. 
Was he? You got older. <laughs> Thank you. You didn't. Maybe when one stops feeling, one stops aging. Why did you do that? You always used to forget the button, that one. I generally remember now. It's too bad. Come on, I'll take you home. Don't waste your time. Shouldn't you be out with your gun and hunting my father's ghost? You listen to me. Now, I had to drop a man out there because I didn't know what he would do to you or to your father. Now, he may still be out there, and I still don't know. I may be more afraid of you than whatever's out there. I swear to you, my father is dead. Really swear it. Will you believe me? No. Why? You're lying to me, Rachel. I'm not. But even if I were, couldn't you let me lie to you, Mac? No. for anything. Just call. Don't wait. Don't think. Just call. You shouldn't go busting in people's rooms. I'm terribly sorry, Miguel, but we weren't certain what we were going to find. Not just me, friend Williams. <laughs> Coughlin wants to see you. Well, I'll see him in the morning. No. Look, I don't want to seem too uncooperative, but this is my sleepy time. And I don't want to seem harsh, but now. Well, if Coughlin calls, what can I do but respond? So what's it all add up to? A guy in an alleyway, footsteps in the night, a girl keeping a date. All you've done is drag up the ghosts of ghosts. The Russian agent's no ghost. Naturally, they're interested in Rachel's report. Harry was my number two man. Was or is? Look, I put it gently before, but now I'll make it plain. Six years ago, we gave you the benefit of the doubt and allowed you to resign. The next time you interfere with us or with Rachel Tyson, we'll reopen your case. I've already reopened it. A warrant will be sworn out for your arrest in federal court in New York, and extradition papers will be drawn up. On what charge? Treason. Good enough? That'll do. I 
I used to miss this place. He'll keep on looking. Yes, he will. And he's a very good operator. Very good. So stay on him. If he makes a wrong move, pick him up. And what do we do with him? Whatever is necessary. Who is it? McGill. I'd like to see you in a minute. Just a minute. What is it? You look terrible. Can I get you something? What's the matter? Max, say something, please. You are frightening me. <laughs> they threaten me with treason and you're frightened. Treason? Didn't you know that? I, I don't know what on earth you're talking about. You mean you didn't phone Coughlin and tell him that I followed you down to the river tonight? No, I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing. Well, you asked for protection from me. Oh, yes, I know, I know, but I was all confused and emotional. What's happened? I just caught a little of their rough stuff. Coughlin said that if I didn't lay off, he'd ship me back and have me convicted of treason. What are you going to do? Well, what can I do? Absolutely nothing. You mean you're going to stop looking for... for Dad? Not necessarily. Yes, but Coughlin always means what he says. I know that, Rachel. Now, you listen to me, and you get this straight. As long as things stay as they are, there is absolutely no chance for us. Now, you have to help me. How? You pick up that telephone and call Coughlin and tell him that Harry's alive. Now, you can do that much for me. I can't, Mac. I can help you the way you want me to. Then you can't help me at all. Egg and chips twice, all right. No. No, two eggs, chips on the one plate. Right, I go. Did you get the addresses? Um, no. Do you mind, sir? I, I haven't had any dinner. Not while you're reporting, sir. Oh, yes, you're, you're quite right, sir. Yes. Well, there were nine telephones with numbers beginning AXE 917. And where are they located? A bit of luck there, sir. They belong to a block of pay telephones, all located in the one place. Where? Regal City Stadium. It's great, fun. Yeah. So, thank goodness for that. I'm starving. Uh, I have one last job for you. Oh. What does it involve? I want you to take my raincoat, put it on, keep the collar up, walk out that door fast as you can, and get in that cab that's waiting for me out there. Where do I go? Just out of London, anywhere, on a straight line. Oh, I don't want to get killed. <laughs> they won't touch you if you're moving away from the girl. So, who's um, following you that you'd prefer to have uh, following me? <laughs> Do you have to know? Well, I mean, uh, are they English, sir? I, I have a, a certain standing here, sir. No, they're not English. Oh, good. You do realize, sir, that uh, if the proper authorities question me, I must tell the truth. But I need a few hours. Right, so well, I'll, uh, I'll do my best for you. Sir, just a touch big, sir. 
Well, it'll be all right in the dark. Oh, your fee is in here, and there's a bonus. She did a very good job, Pfeiffer. Really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Yes. Pfeiffer. Yes. Oh. By the way, sir, you, um, you didn't help Lafabra to defect to the Russians, did you? No. I thought not. You reckon chips, sir? Oh, some other time, eh? Tyson, we know you're there. We have your daughter, Mr. Tyson. We want you at the embassy in an hour. Look, I... I don't believe you. She'll be safe for one hour, no longer. Let, let me talk to her. No. Look, I, I'll hang up in ten seconds. Well, we just collected her in our car. It'll take us a few moments to get her. It's some distance. Look, one minute. No more.
all very neat. Hey, Mac. Don't come any closer. The next shot won't be a warning one. No need to ask what's on your mind, eh? That's right, Harry. I'm taking you to Coughlin. <laughs> You'd have to kill me first. But you can kill me, can you, Mac? Because I'm the only one who knows the truth about Lafarbe. I'll, um, I'll do a deal with you. What kind? I want to see Rachel. I can't get to her. The Russians have got her covered like a Siberian snowstorm. You mean that's the only reason you came back from the dead, to see Rachel? Yep. Why now, after all these years? Well, to put it baldy, I am a dying man. Give me ten minutes alone with Rachel. And I'll come with you to Coughlin. No, you come to Coughlin with me now. You'll have plenty of time to talk to Rachel. No, 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 no. Too risky. They might kill me before I got there. Make a trade with you, Mac. You bring Rachel here, then I'll come with you to Coughlin, huh? Now, what's to keep me from bringing back 50 of Coughlin's agents? I'd never let you capture me alive. I can tell you that. Hey, have you gone crazy? Just to see Rachel. Well, how do I get her in here? The two large blue gates ahead there. Yeah, I climbed over them, but I don't think she could. The two heavy bolts on the inside, but they'll be undone. taking you to Harry. What? I'm taking you to Harry. Now, come on, right now. I don't believe you. You don't know where he is. I know. Believe me. Now, come on. It's now or never. Find the number of an account I set up for you in a Swiss bank, a few insurance certificates, and um, well, a few other details. Did you climb back from wherever you've been just to give me these? Yeah, I wanted to be sure you'd be all right. Were you so sure six years ago? No. No, and it's tormented me ever since. to go away again? Yeah. Why? That's what every woman's asked every soldier since the beginning of time. And we never get an answer. 
Time's up, Harry. I'm gonna take you to Coughlin now. Uh, no need, Mac. He knows you're innocent. Well, I'm still being accused for helping the fob defect, and as far as I know, he's still in Russia. That's where he's supposed to be. You mean he's working for us? Yes, for the last six years, he's been the top man, the highest levels in Soviet research. Now, what about you, Harry? The fob's courier. So you rigged the airplane crash and the body and the whole thing? Yes. And you left me to take the rap? Yeah. Because I stumbled onto the fob. Yeah. Because I was too damn good at my job. Yes. Would you stop saying yes? What do you want me to do? Just accept it? Just automatically accept it? Yes. Listen, this is my life I'm watching going down the drain here. Just accept it. Yes. Accept it all. For how long? As long as you care about Lefebvre's life. As long as you care about our work. You and Coughlin, all along. Well, you must have been very sure of me. Very sure. That's very comforting. How do you manage to fool the Russians? I'm a Soviet sailor. My ship docked at Southampton. I couldn't resist the temptation of uh, seeing you. You spotted me first. The news leaked. For the first time, a Russian sailor and American agent could be connected. That's why the Russians must not see me. Well, how do you plan to get back? My ship leaves Southampton tonight. If I can make it, I think I stand a chance. Well, they must have found their own way in this place because they're all over. In here. You're quite safe. This has been my hiding place. Oh, no, not like this again. Listen, get in there and you stay there till I come for you. You understand that? It's okay. Okay, Harry. Here are the keys to my car. It's just opposite those gates you showed me. I'll try to draw them off here. Now, when you get a chance, you run.
are looking for a man returned from the dead, sir. But every time we get near him, you are in the way. Why is this, sir? Please answer my question, sir. Where is the alleged dead man, sir? Where? 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 You're all right. You'll live. What happened to Harry? They didn't even see him. He's on his way to Southampton by now. Mac? Mac? It's OK. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be all right. What about Dad? He made it. He made it. I saw him go. They didn't even see him. You sure of that? Yes, I saw it. He's OK. I got to go. Just keep your tongue buttoned. Button, kid. She got a long way to go. Matt, don't go. I have to, honey. I have to. I just have to. Where are you going? Southampton. I gotta get my suitcase in my car. Are they so important? Yes, ma'am. They're all I own. Hey. 